Hello guys and welcome back to Coding Orbit. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement Telegram and Do in your Flutter application. So here in our list tile, if we click delete on the delete icon, you see that the item is deleted and we still have undo. If we click undo, it's back again. Now if we delete it and we don't hit undo or we dismiss the flash bar, it's gone. And if we delete anyone and click undo, it will be returned to the list. Now, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss our content. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add this package, which is another flush bar. So get it from pub.dev and I will keep the link in the description either way. Now, let me show you the project structure a little bit. So first, let's start with main.dart. So currently it has nothing. It only calls home screen, which is inside screens. Home screen is the screen that we saw from a while in the emulator. This is the home screen and the only screen that we have. So basically it has list of string items and in the init state I'm filling it with list.generate 20 and filling it with a string and index plus i1 so we don't get index 0. And then in the build I have scaffold and app bar then safe area in the body with list view dot builder that have padding and card and then list style in the list style we have the title as the text that we saw which is inside the list then leading the icon trailing is the delete button that we saw and on the only pressed we have nothing currently which we will implement later we also have ui which currently have nothing and widgets also nothing now the first thing that we need to do which is implementing this widget which is the countdown widget that we saw when we delete any item. So let's go to the widgets and let's create a new widget. Let's call it countdown widget dart and let's start implementing it. All right, we will start with the import. We will import Flutter material and then we will create a stateful widget, which is countdown widget. And currently in the build method, we have placeholder. We will change it to animated builder, which we will implement in a while. Then we will create a duration field, which is final duration as duration, and we will pass it in the constructor. Now, after we do that, we need to make the state with single ticker provider mixing because we're going to use animation in here and the animation controller takes vsync, which we will pass as this in a while. So we'll create the animation controller as controller, and then we will create a getter, a string getter that returns a string we will call it counter text and inside it we will create final duration count so it's equal to controller the duration which is nullable but we will force unwrap it because we will pass the duration to the animation controller then times controller dot value and after we do that we will return count dot in second dot to string so basically if we have nine seconds we don't want to start from one to, to nine we will start from nine eight and so on so after it we will create init method init state and in the init state we will create the controller so we will say controller equal animation controller which basically takes vsync and we will pass this and that's why we use single ticker provider mixing and after we do that we will pass the duration to the controller. Now here we have to do an important step, which is we have to reverse the controller. So because if we pass nine seconds or 10 seconds, we don't want it to start from the beginning. We want it to start reversed. So we will say controller dot reverse. And down there in the build method for the animated builder, we will pass the animation as controller and then we will have a builder which has context and child and we need to return a widget so we will return a stack and we will make this stack alignment to alignment.center and then in the children the first child would be size box and we will pass height as 25 width as 25 and a child the child here is the circular progress indicator and in the circular progress indicator we will pass some value because we don't want it to stuck in an infinite loop we want it to be animated in the as we saw in the emulator it doesn't have that default behavior so basically we will pass first thing the 
background color then we will pass the color and the value so controller dot value and then we will pass stroke width and we will set it to two and after we do that we only have the text so the text is the getter we created counter text and we will pass some style so const text style with font weight bold and color as white and finally down there we just have to create the dispose method so in the dispose method we will just dispose the controller and that's it that's all what we have to do in this file all right now after we created the countdown widget we will create the flash bars widget so in the ui we will create a new file we will call it flash bars dot and the flash bar is the thing that we saw pop up whenever we click on the delete this is a flash bar so we will start implementing it so basically we will start with the import so we will import the library that we added another flash bar and then we will import flutter material and finally we will import the countdown widget that we created and then we will create a class flash bars we will call it and inside this class we will return we will have one method static flash bar undo and inside this undo it takes three named parameter the first one is string message the second on undo which is void callback and the third one is duration now we need duration because flash bar take a duration also the widget that we created countdown widget also takes duration if you recall from a while now we will return a void flash bar and inside it it takes message text so we'll have text and inside this text the message that we took here and we'll give it some style and then we have an icon the icon here is like a leading in the list style so the leading would be the countdown widget that we created and we will pass the duration then we will have a background color as colors dot black and then flash bar position we will set it to bottom but it can be top so it has top and bottom the location for it and then we will have the duration also the duration that we want and we will have margin you can have margin padding whatever you want i will just set margin and then i will give it border radius and main button the main button is the undo button that we want so currently i will set it as text button and on the unpressed we will give it the undo that we took and the child would be simple text undo and that's it for this flash bar class all right now the last thing that we need to do is we need to edit the only pressed here whenever we click delete because currently if we run the app like this it won't work because nothing in the only pressed so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna remove from the list so we'll say items dot remove at this index and we will save it in the temp now here's a point if you're using api make sure you don't delete it and add it in the apis because you will be hitting the api twice while there was no need for it so you can at least make sure that you delete it after the duration the five seconds or the duration that you set has passed after that yeah hit the api but since we are doing it locally we're gonna just remove from the list and we will save it in the temp now after we do that we're gonna say flash bars dot undo but make sure you import the file that we added flash bar and then we will pass a message the message would be you still have a chance to undo it and then on the undo on undo we have first we will pop navigator dot pop because if we click uh, delete and we click undo you can see that the flash bar is gone away now after we pop we will say items dot insert at the index the index that we deleted the item from because we're got, we're using a list of view builder so we have the index and we will insert the temp that we deleted from a while now after it we're just gonna say set state to show that effect and we will pass duration so the duration I'm gonna pass it as seconds and as six seconds and six seconds mean five till zero and zero is viewable as well as you can see in the emulator now after we do that we need to say dot show because in the undo we are returning a flash bar we're not showing it so after we return the flash bar we can say dot show and we pass the context and that's it that's all what we have to do here 
Now let's run the app and see if this is working or not. Alright, the app is working and as you can see we have 20 items instead of I think we reached 10 when we were implementing the app. So let's try and delete number 3 and it didn't work, it's still here. And I think it's because we didn't set the state after we in the on the press we set it actually in the undo. So we just have set state here because in the undo set state will work but outside it won't. So that would fix it. Let's save it and check. Okay, number three is gone. So let's try and delete number four. Number four is gone and if we try to undo it, it's back again. Okay, so that was all. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, make sure to like it, comment down below and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video.